Admiral Thaxforn sat in his command chair, gazing out at the void. His fleet, a formidable force of warships bristling with weaponry, stretched across the stars in disciplined formation. Reports had come in about a species in a distant, backwater solar system, a species calling themselves humans. To Thaxvorn, they were no more than an amusing footnote, a primitive civilization with delusions of grandeur. Thaxvorn's orders from the Galactic Council had been clear. He was to remind these humans of their place without outright decimation, an exercise in intimidation, nothing more. The Council wanted no bloodshed, only a display of force to quell the growing rumors of human ingenuity. Supposedly, these humans had managed minor feats of technology, though nothing compared to the Council's might. Thaxforn scoffed at the thought. He was about to issue his first command when one of his officers interrupted with a report. Admiral, a vessel has appeared on our sensors. It's human. Thaxforn's lips curled into a smirk. One lone ship? They must be braver than he thought, or more foolish. This would be over in minutes. He gestured with a single flick of his hand, signaling his crew to establish a connection. Human vessel, he intoned, his voice echoing through the bridge. You are in restricted space. Stand down and prepare for our arrival. Silence stretched across the channel. The humans weren't responding. Thaxvorn's eyes narrowed as the human ship began maneuvering strangely, darting back and forth across the sensor readout, slipping in and out of range. Fascinating, he muttered. They're attempting evasive maneuvers. How quaint. He watched as the small vessel twisted, flipped, and dived, evading the targeting locks of several of his ships. This wasn't standard protocol for such a primitive species. Humans, with their limited capabilities, shouldn't even have the means to pilot ships with such agility. Thaxvorn dismissed the notion with a wave of his hand, chalking it up to erratic behavior or a last-ditch effort to evade capture. Prepare to engage, he commanded. The order was obeyed instantly, and his ships closed in on the lone human vessel, which continued its unpredictable maneuvers. Thaxvorn's smirk widened. He had seen this dance before from lesser species. As the alien fleet advanced, the human ship moved with precision that bordered on artistry. It slipped past the alien blockade, moving like a ghost through the dark, as though it anticipated their every move. Thaxvorn's amusement faded, replaced by a sliver of doubt. His officers exchanged nervous glances as one attempted to recalibrate the targeting systems, muttering about sensor interference. Thaxvorn tightened his grip on the armrests of his chair, his eyes narrowing. He ordered a volley of non-lethal energy pulses, designed to immobilize, not destroy. His ships complied, unleashing a carefully calibrated barrage meant to overwhelm the lone ship's defenses. But the human vessel danced between the pulses, slipping through the cracks in their formation, barely phased. Each missed shot seemed to taunt the alien fleet. The bridge grew tense. Thaxvorn could feel it, the unease creeping through the ranks. How was a single ship defying them so easily? He forced himself to remain calm, yet the whispers from his officers betrayed their fear. Sir? An officer spoke up hesitantly. The ship's movements. It's as if they're calculating our patterns in real time. Thaxforn shot him a glare. Impossible. There was no way a human ship could match the strategic algorithms of the Council's finest fleet. The human ship slowed for a moment hovering just out of range. Thaxvorn's finger hovered over the command console, ready to issue a final command to overwhelm the ship with brute force. But before he could speak, the vessel spun on its axis and accelerated, closing the gap between itself and his flagship with frightening speed. Thaxvorn's heart skipped a beat as the human ship skimmed past his viewport, close enough for him to make out its sleek, almost artless design, a minimalist craft, absent the flourish of alien engineering, yet somehow, efficient. He could feel the shift in atmosphere, the silent tension spreading through the bridge. This was not the behavior of a helpless prey. The human ship darted back out of range, an unmistakable challenge lingering in its wake. Thaxvorn clenched his fists, a trickle of unease worming its way into his thoughts. How is it possible? He murmured, trailing off as he glared at the readouts. 
that humans shouldn't have technology capable of such precision, such evasion. But the evidence was right there, impossible to ignore. His fleet, a symbol of council power, supremacy, and order, had been matched, even mocked, by a single human vessel. The admiral took a deep breath, forcing himself to regain control. Prepare all ships for close formation. We will surround it from all sides and cut off every possible route of escape. His voice was steady, but a hint of uncertainty cracked its surface. Thaxvorn tightened his gaze, irritation bubbling beneath his calm exterior. The human ship's boldness was unexpected, but now it was time to show them the true power of a council fleet. He ordered the first wave of attacks, confident that this primitive vessel would crumble under the calculated precision of his advanced weaponry. His ships, arranged in flawless formation, launched a volley of energy beams aimed directly at the vessel. But, in a feat that seemed to defy all logic, the human ship dodged each blast, its movements almost mocking the alien fleet's efforts. Thaxvorn's eyes narrowed, his mind racing to make sense of what he was seeing. No ship, especially one from an unremarkable species, should be capable of such precise evasion. But there it was, maneuvering with eerie accuracy, avoiding each strike by mere fractions. His officers murmured nervously around him, some questioning their targeting systems, others throwing out theories about cloaking devices or stealth technologies that the Council's sensors couldn't detect. The human ship then made its first counterattack. A single pulse of energy, small and seemingly insignificant, shot from its hull. Thaxvorn barely registered it as a threat, dismissing it as a desperate act. But as it connected with one of the alien ships, he watched in stunned silence as the entire vessel went dark, systems shutting down instantaneously. His crew scrambled to reroute power, but nothing worked. That small, unassuming pulse had disabled the ship entirely, leaving it dead in the water. Impossible! Thaxvorn hissed under his breath, feeling the first real pang of unease twist in his gut. He ordered a second wave, this time instructing his fleet to aim not just at the human vessel but to spread out, blocking any possible escape routes. Yet, the human ship seemed to read their movements effortlessly, sliding through the gaps with a precision that was uncanny. Thaxvorn clenched his jaw, realizing this was no fluke. Whoever was piloting that ship had anticipated every move, every tactic, staying two steps ahead as if they knew the Council's protocols by heart. Another pulse shot out from the human ship, and another Council vessel went down, systems flickering out as if they'd been hit by an invisible hand. Panic was setting in among his officers, who whispered in hushed tones, some glancing nervously at the admiral, awaiting orders he didn't have. The battle had only just begun, yet Thaxvorn could feel his control slipping away. He raised his voice, silencing the chatter on the bridge, and commanded the fleet to switch to a different tactic, one meant for highly evasive enemies. The ships closed ranks, preparing to unleash a synchronized barrage that would blanket the human vessel's immediate area, leaving it nowhere to run. But as the barrage fired, the human ship executed a maneuver that defied all logic, seeming to fold and shift in space, reappearing just outside the blast zone, unharmed. By now, Thaxvorn was no longer irritated. He was unnerved. He'd led countless campaigns, conquered entire star systems, but he'd never faced an enemy like this. It wasn't the human ship's strength that was unsettling. It was its unpredictability, its refusal to play by the rules of conventional warfare. The crew was visibly shaken, and the usual discipline of the bridge was slipping as murmurs of fear spread among the ranks. Sir, one of the officers said, breaking the silence. It's as if they're toying with us. Thaxvorn didn't respond, unwilling to admit that he, too, felt as though they were the prey in this confrontation. He scrutinized the human ship, searching for any weakness, any sign that it was vulnerable. But it continued its dance, weaving through his fleet's formations, eluding every attempt to lock it down. He watched as the human ship emitted a strange signal, a signal that his systems couldn't identify. The broadcast scrambled the alien fleet's communications, creating a disorienting cacophony in their comm systems. Officers scrambled to regain control, their screens flickering with static as the signal wormed its way through the fleet's networks, leaving systems briefly unresponsive. 
In his years of service, Thaxvorn had encountered jamming signals, but nothing like this, nothing so precise and invasive. The murmurs around him grew louder as the bridge descended into semi-chaos. His officers struggled to clear the interference, their faces pale with apprehension. Thaxvorn knew that if he didn't regain control, the situation would spiral into disaster. He forced himself to focus, breathing slowly as he considered his next move. Whatever this human ship was, it had proven itself a formidable adversary. He called for reinforcements from the outer perimeter, ordering them to converge on the human ship from multiple angles. He was done toying with this enemy. It was time to put an end to this embarrassing skirmish. His confidence wavered, but he pushed the feeling aside, reminding himself of the council's superiority. Yet, even as he gave the order, he couldn't shake the feeling that the humans were prepared for this, that they had anticipated his every command. As the reinforcements closed in, the human vessel made no move to flee. Instead, it accelerated, charging headlong into the formation as if daring them to try and stop it. Thaxvorn's eyes widened as the ship sliced through his fleet, dodging weapons fire with frightening ease, leaving a wake of disabled ships behind it. One after another, his vessels fell silent, their systems offline, floating in the void like hollow shells. Silence descended on the bridge as the reality of the situation sank in. His fleet, one of the most feared in the galaxy, was being dismantled by a single human ship. Thaxvorn's hands tightened around the armrests of his chair, his mind racing as he searched for an explanation, a justification for the impossible. Thaxvorn stared at the screen his mind wrestling with disbelief. The human ship had moved with such calculated precision that it left his fleet in tatters, and now it was as if the vessel had vanished. The admiral ordered a full scan, his voice strained as he struggled to maintain authority amidst the panicked murmurs around him. The scanners word to life, but his officers reported back almost immediately, their voices tinged with fear. Every skin returned no, the ship was somehow blocking their systems making detection impossible. A moment later, the vessel reappeared, directly behind one of his flagship's escort ships, slipping in without triggering any alarms. Thaxvorn's pulse quickened. It was as if the humans had mastered a form of cloaking the council hadn't even conceived. The vessel hovered in place, taunting them, yet none of his ships could get a lock on it. Every attempt to target or track it was met with interference as though the ship was not only invisible but actively confusing their systems. Frustration simmered on the bridge, and his officers looked to him for guidance. Thaxvorn ordered a tactical retreat, hoping to regroup and analyze the ship's capabilities from a safer distance. But before his fleet could pull away, the human ship emitted a low-frequency pulse. The pulse moved through the fleet like a ripple, and with each passing wave, systems began to malfunction. His officers scrambled to contain the disruption, but it spread with alarming speed, disrupting weapons, navigation, and communication. The human ship then activated a strange field around itself, one that his scientists could only describe as a disruptor. They speculated that it was manipulating electromagnetic fields in ways that countered the fleet's shielding and energy reserves. Each passing moment revealed another layer of complexity in human technology that should have been impossible for a species so young. Thaxvorn's confidence eroded with each failure, replaced by an unsettling feeling he couldn't ignore. He had underestimated the humans, but now it was clear they were not a primitive race, but one with the capability to challenge even the Council's most advanced fleets. He ordered the fleet to reposition, attempting to create a sphere around the human ship to trap it. But before his ships could execute the maneuver, the human vessel altered course, moving at an angle that broke his formation with minimal effort. The admiral's frustration turned to something darker, fear. He could no longer deny it. The human ship didn't just have advanced weaponry. It was anticipating his moves, reacting before his own orders were fully carried out. It was almost as if they knew the council's strategies countering them with a terrifying precision that bordered on foresight. His officers looked at him with a mixture of confusion and desperation, as if asking silently what they were supposed to do against such an enemy. In a desperate attempt to understand, Thaxvorn called for an immediate analysis of the human ship's design, 
instructing his scientists to assess any patterns, vulnerabilities, anything that could explain how it was evading them so effortlessly. His scientists worked feverishly, but they had nothing concrete. The human ship's design defied conventional tactics, relying on methods the Council had never encountered, much less prepared for. Thax Vorn's thoughts turned to the whispers he had once dismissed, rumors of human ingenuity that he'd laughed off as exaggerations. But those stories hadn't prepared him for this. The human vessel emitted another signal, its frequency subtly calibrated to disrupt only their most crucial systems, ignoring anything non-essential. He watched helplessly as his ship's targeting mechanisms shut down, their weapons refusing to fire. The human ship had effectively disarmed his entire fleet without so much as a direct strike. The alien crew, seasoned veterans of countless battles, were now on edge. Some whispered about ghost ships, while others muttered prayers to the ancient gods. Thax Vorn silenced them with a sharp glance, but he could feel their fear, see it in their faces. They no longer believed in the Council's invincibility. And, deep down, he shared their doubts. Realizing that his fleet was vulnerable, Thax Vorn ordered the ships to retreat to a safer distance, regroup, and rearm. Yet, before they could carry out the command, the human ship moved again, this time broadcasting a message. The words came through in clear, unaccented galactic standard, yet the tone was cool, almost casual, a tone that suggested complete control. Admiral Thaxvorn, we recommend standing down. This engagement is unnecessary. The voice was calm but firm, unshaken, and somehow, familiar. Thaxvorn felt a chill run down his spine. It was one thing for the humans to counter his tactics. It was another for them to understand and speak his language fluently. The message's underlying confidence was infuriating. How dare these humans, these so-called primitives, speak to him as though he were the one in need of mercy? Against his better judgment, Thax Vorn responded, trying to keep his voice steady. He demanded to know the source of their technology, how they had achieved such mastery over their systems in so little time. The reply was simple, almost mocking. We adapt, the voice said. We learn from those who try to dominate us. Thax Vorn's mind reeled. Adapt? Learn? No species could advance so quickly. The Council had maintained its dominance for millennia by carefully controlling technological progression, and yet these humans, a species barely reaching interstellar capabilities, were here, challenging him on equal footing, or worse, a superior one. The human ship held its position, as if waiting for his next move. Thax Vorn's crew looked to him with faces drained of color and he realized with sudden clarity that this encounter had already stripped them of any confidence. They'd expected to intimidate an inferior race, not be humbled by them. And now, the human ship simply waited, daring him to continue, as though it were toying with him, testing the extent of his patience and pride. Thax Vorn felt a palpable tension suffuse the bridge as the human ship maintained its steady, intimidating presence. His once orderly fleet— renowned across the galaxy for its precision and power, was in shambles, left to drift in helpless patterns while the single human vessel stood untouched. The silence around him was heavy, filled with an unspoken dread. His officers avoided his gaze, their faces marked with the realization that their best tactics had failed, that they'd encountered something beyond their understanding. He gritted his teeth, refusing to yield to the despair creeping into his thoughts. No matter the odds, no matter how advanced the human's technology, he was still the admiral, the council's chosen enforcer. Determined, he ordered his fleet to reconfigure, adjusting their formation in a final attempt to overwhelm the vessel through sheer numbers and coordinated force. As his ships moved, each maneuver precise, Thax Vorn clung to the hope that brute strength could still salvage their shattered pride. But even before his commands were fully enacted, the human ship responded. With breathtaking speed, it darted between the gaps in his formation, positioning itself with unerring accuracy where the alien vessels were most vulnerable. One by one, his ships flickered and went dark, their systems frozen by an unseen energy. Each tactical move he made was anticipated and countered with an ease that felt like mockery. Watching his fleet fall apart, Thax Vorn was forced to confront the truth. They were not the hunters in this battle, 
but the prey. Every ship that shut down, every energy pulse that failed to connect, every officer's pale face reinforced the humbling realization. This human vessel was far more than a mere scout or patrol ship. It was a statement, a message to any force that dared underestimate them. A warning. He called for a report, his voice sharper than intended, as if projecting authority could mask the dread twisting within him. His engineers scrambled to relay data on the human ship's movements, its energy signatures, anything that might explain its near-mystical capabilities. The answer they returned was frustratingly vague. They didn't know. Their systems were incapable of deciphering the energy patterns the human vessel was emitting, as though it operated on principles entirely foreign to known science. With growing frustration, Thax Vorn ordered a full-scale, coordinated attack, the kind he'd reserved for only the most dangerous of adversaries. His remaining ships unleashed their most advanced weaponry, saturating the space around the human vessel with enough firepower to obliterate a small moon. But even as the blasts lit up the darkness, the human ship wove through them with impossible precision, slipping between pulses as though it could see the attacks before they were even fired. Thax Vorn felt the weight of his own inadequacy settle heavily upon him. This ship had not only outmaneuvered his fleet but had dismantled his command, reduced his authority to a mere façade. He saw it in his officers' faces, in their hesitant, uncertain movements. The aura of invincibility that had once defined the Council's fleets had been shattered by this single encounter. Just when he thought the human ship might finally strike a finishing blow, it instead slowed, hovering at a distance that was both ominously close and undeniably out of reach. The vessel's presence seemed to pulse with an unspoken challenge, as if daring him to try again, to throw every remaining resource at it. But Thax Vorn knew any further action would only lead to more humiliation. The human ship had proven its superiority, and he suspected it was choosing restraint as an act of mercy, something that stung worse than any defeat. One of his officers, barely able to mask his fear, suggested a retreat, his voice trembling as he spoke. The suggestion seemed to echo through the bridge, filling the silence with a shameful truth that Thaxforn had been too proud to consider. Yet deep down, he knew it was the only viable option. Their continued engagement with this vessel served no purpose but to deepen their disgrace, to further cement humanity's unforeseen dominance. He was about to issue the retreat order when the human vessel emitted another signal. This one, however, was different. It was not a disruptive pulse but a message. The transmission came through clearly, translated into flawless galactic standard, each word resonating with a calm confidence that left no room for misinterpretation. Your fleet is at a disadvantage, the voice stated with unsettling neutrality. Withdraw now, and you will be allowed to return and scathe. This battle is over. The calmness in the human voice struck Thaxvorn more deeply than any threat. There was no malice, no gloating, only the quiet assurance of someone who knew they held the upper hand. It was the final blow to his pride, a reminder that his fleet, once invincible, was now at the mercy of a species he had deemed primitive. For a long, agonizing moment, Thax Vorn stared at the transmission, his hands clenched into fists, his mind racing through every possible response. He could order a retreat, salvage what was left of his fleet, and return to the council with his humiliating report. Or he could press forward, risk annihilation, and let the echoes of this failure resound across the stars. But the choice, in truth, had already been made. His officers defeated expressions, the failure of their once unstoppable technology, and the indifferent power of the human vessel had rendered any further resistance futile. Thax Vorn took a deep breath, fighting the bitterness that surged within him, and issued the command he had never imagined he would give. Signal all ships, he said, his voice a hollow echo of the authority it once held. Retreat at full speed. We are returning to Council Space. As the order was relayed, his fleet began to turn, the once proud formation now a scattered, disheveled procession limping back toward the edges of human territory. He felt the shame settle over him, a weight that would follow him all the way back to the Council Chambers. He had come here expecting to subjugate a lesser race, to demonstrate the Council's dominance. Instead, he was leaving in disgrace, humbled by a force he had refused to understand. 
and as the human vessel watched them depart, Thaxvorn knew he would never forget this encounter. The retreat was quiet and tense, the once imposing fleet now reduced to scattered remnants, each ship struggling to maintain formation as they limped away from human space. Thaxvorn's mind raced, burdened by the weight of their failure. Every calculation he'd made, every tactical maneuver, every ounce of confidence he'd held in the Council's supremacy had been dismantled with clinical efficiency. He could sense his officers' shame, their unspoken horror at having faced a foe they hadn't even believed possible. None dared speak, each aware of the severity of their defeat. The journey back felt longer than the one that had brought them here. Though his pride demanded otherwise, Thax Vorn replayed the battle in his mind, analyzing each move, every decision, trying to make sense of the nightmare they'd faced. The human ship's every maneuver had been a revelation, each defiance of expectation chipping away at the Council's carefully crafted image of control and superiority. He couldn't shake the feeling that he'd underestimated not only the humans' technology, but their very nature. As the fleet entered safer space, he called for a private report from his remaining officers. The faces on his screen were weary, the usual spark of discipline replaced by a grim understanding. The battle had changed them all. They submitted their assessments, each one filled with bewilderment at how such a primitive species had managed to humiliate them so thoroughly. His engineers still scrambled to understand the energy signatures and countermeasures used by the human vessel but none of the data made sense within the Council's framework of known technology. With a heavy heart, Thax Vorn prepared his report for the Galactic Council. He knew that every word he wrote would be met with scrutiny, perhaps even disbelief, yet he could not ignore the evidence. He documented the human vessel's agility, its apparent mastery of cloaking and disruptive technology, and the seamless way it had outmaneuvered his fleet. Even more unsettling was the human commander's demeanor, that quiet confidence that spoke of knowledge and power well beyond their years. Thax Vorn realized with growing dread that they might have encountered only the tip of the human's potential. His final words in the report were as difficult to write as they were essential. The humans are not the primitive species we assumed. Their capabilities are not to be underestimated, and any further engagements should be approached with extreme caution. They have demonstrated a level of adaptability and precision that could challenge even the Council's most advanced fleets. This encounter suggests that we may be dealing with a potential equal, or worse, a future rival. Thaxforn sent the report, a bitter taste in his mouth as he did. The Council's response would undoubtedly be severe, perhaps even punitive, as they processed the shocking reality that the humans, whom they'd regarded as a curiosity at best, posed a significant threat. His mind raced through potential scenarios, how the council might react, and the orders that might follow. Perhaps they would send a larger fleet, try to assert dominance through overwhelming force, or perhaps, though unlikely, consider a diplomatic approach. But Thax Vorn knew one thing for certain. Humanity had forced them to reevaluate everything. Alone in his quarters, he reviewed the final moments of the battle. The human's message echoed in his mind, calm, composed, offering mercy where he'd expected hostility. It was a message not of arrogance, but of control, a quiet warning that resonated more powerfully than any threat. That restraint had unsettled him almost as much as their technology. It suggested a maturity he thought impossible for such a young species. It wasn't just their strength that worried him. It was their intelligence— their ability to read and counter his every move as though they knew his strategies before he'd enacted them. His thoughts drifted to the Council's history, their dominance over countless worlds, and the species they'd subdued, the empires they'd erased. Humanity didn't fit into any of those categories. They were different, an unknown variable with potential far beyond their years. Thax Vorn had always believed that the Council's power was unmatched that they held an insurmountable advantage over any species they encountered. But now, for the first time, he questioned that belief. He had no doubt that rumors of their defeat would spread, that the Council's prestige would suffer from this encounter. Perhaps it was necessary. The Council had grown complacent, assuming their control was absolute, their power untouchable. Humanity's intervention had shattered that illusion, and in a way, Thaxvorn realized it was a wake-up call 
a warning that the universe was larger and more unpredictable than the Council's doctrine allowed. As the fleet prepared to enter Council territory, Thax Vorn glanced at his screen, where the symbol of the Galactic Council hovered. It felt strangely hollow now, an emblem of a power that had been irreversibly shaken. He thought of the human ship, that single vessel that had managed to dismantle his entire fleet, and felt a pang of respect mixed with resentment. They had shown mercy, had offered them a chance to leave, and he could no longer deny the strength that act displayed. A message notification appeared on his console. It was a directive from the council, demanding a debrief and an immediate hearing upon his return. He knew what awaited him, interrogation, doubt, perhaps even punishment for what they would perceive as failure. But he would stand by his report, would tell them of the formidable adversary they now faced. The truth was undeniable, no matter how the council wished to ignore it. As they approached the docking stations, Thax Vorn took a final look at the void, a mix of apprehension and something he hadn't felt in years, uncertainty. Humanity had forced him to question everything he knew, and he couldn't shake the feeling that this was only the beginning. The universe had shifted, and he would bear the consequences of that revelation. With a final, weary sigh, Thaxforn straightened his uniform, preparing himself for the Council's judgment.